so excited. We're gonna be uh, packing up here. Uh, we're heading up to the north coast of Oregon uh, for some uh, salmon fishing. So we're going after a species I've never caught before, which is chum salmon. So I'm really excited. I never caught one of those. Um, also, there's the possibility for chinooks, cohos. Cohos we can't keep. We can keep one wild chinook and a bunch of jacks, I think. Uh, but it's super exciting. Um, the water's gonna be super duper high, so fly fishing might be tricky, to be honest with you. I think it might be like a spinning rod weekend. Um, but we'll see, we'll see how it goes. If I can fly fish, especially if I can spay cast out there, that'd be super cool. But I'm thinking it's gonna be ripping because we're getting a major storm coming through, big atmospheric river. So oh, wish us luck and we'll see you guys in a minute. All right, so we made it out here and uh, we had a crazy storm last night um, and it just dumped like four inches of rain in a couple hours. So as you can see behind me, the river is totally blown. Um, I talked to a few people and they said that this particular river, um, you know, in like 24 hours, it'll get back into shape and be green tomorrow. So we're fingers crossed for that and we can get out and catch some fish, but we're just kind of chilling by the campfire right now. We're getting about to cook up some, uh, some Chinook and have a nice dinner. So I'll catch you guys for dinner. So this is what we're looking at. Um, yipes. They say it'll come down tomorrow, we'll see. That's a rager. And we got our trash fire going here. Kyle got that ready. All right, so night number one, dinner getting rolling here. We've got some cheddar broccoli going, or uh, rice that is. And then we're gonna do some salmon. We get another one of those tomorrow. The main goal is chums though for me, but uh, I'll take any salmon, uh, salmon on it I can get. But we've also got these uh, oyster mushrooms that I found. Um, I think I'm gonna save these for tomorrow. I got them kind of drying off in layers with some napkins here. So we don't have any paper towels. We're gonna do an extra special fancy dinner tomorrow. Well, I brought a seeded plank and we're gonna do it over the fire, so it should be cool. Yeah, it's nice looking oysters. So we're rocking this seasoning here for tonight's never tried this before, but I see it all the time. Got a baste. Yeah. I wish you guys could be here to smell this. It just smells so awesome. It looks like, yeah, it's perfect. Base is looking really nice. Needs about maybe five, seven minutes on that. Uh, two whole fillets, so thanks to Kyle for the salmon. I can't wait to dig in. One of these, or oh, you got your spoon. Yeah, I got my okay, spoon. Gotcha. All right, as you guys can see, organization is not our strong suit here, but. <laughs> yeah, go right for the shoulder. Yeah, the please. shoulder. What do you think? Mm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. it's cook, cooked right? That's good. Mmm. Oh, that's amazing. Dude, that's cooked perfectly. All right, let's try the rice. It's got like creamy, almost like a risotto style rice. It's excellent. Mmm. Oh man, that's so good. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have salmon again tomorrow night, so we'll see you on that one. All right, so there's what we crashed last night. Uh, it was uh, rather uncomfortable, as it usually is when you're sleeping in your car. My air mattress deflated, so it wasn't the most fun. I woke up about 3.30 and I couldn't go back to bed. So we're gonna get ready, maybe make some coffee and head on on the river. I think it's still too high for fly fishing today. So I did bring a spinning rod. Um, so I'm just gonna huck that. Um, then maybe later today when it comes down a little, uh, we can do the fly rod. All right, so good morning. Uh, so this is technically day one because the river was so blown out yesterday, uh, we couldn't fish uh, at all. So after a slow morning out there, cooking some eggs, and we've, of course, I uh, forgot the spatula at home. So we've been flipping them with the, with the hatchet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's ready quite yet, Kyle. So I'm gonna have to do this. Up on there, there we go. Should be nice over medium. So we woke, <coughs> woke up to this. Kyle left his eggs outside. And looks like a raccoon maybe got in there. He stole an orange juice from Kyle, but yeah. That's craziness. <laughs> Guess we're not leaving those out tomorrow, huh? No. <laughs> All right, it's a little bit more green, but it's still up pretty high. So I don't think the fly fish is really gonna be do much, do much good for me. So I'm gonna rock out a spinning rod today. It's been a while. 
Um, but I just really want to catch one of these chums one way or another. So let's get at it. All right, so all we're doing is working this jig through this run here. Looks really good. Yeah, right? <laughs> this is killer. I'm, we're here right at the right time, too. I'm excited. Well, hopefully, a lot of people have to go to work tomorrow. They won't be here. <laughs> Like in, like about eight eight feet in. Oh, fish are on! Fish, yeah! Hell yes! I told you right there. Hell yes! <laughs> oh! Hell yes. Don't let him get down in that tree. And I guess keep the rod low if he goes in there so you can maybe stay away from it. <laughs> You'll get him back up. Just don't put pull the rod the other way. Just keep it that way. Oh man, that's a big one. That's a huge fish. Oh, I I thought I had my waders on. I started walking out in the water. He's still taking line. Shoot, man, that's a big fish. I I didn't see it because I was I was trying to get the net. <laughs> Come on, man. Tighten your drag down. Tighten it down. You got 20 pound test. Put some work on him. Put some work on him. Oh! Oh! Is he on still? No. No. no! That was a monster. No, he broke me. He broke you off. He oh. completely broke me off. Oh, no. Well. I tightened the drag too much, bro. Oh, it was my fault? I blame it on you. I mean, he was going to go down to that next rapid, dude. <laughs> I was tightening the drag and then. I mean, there was nothing you can, that's the only thing you can do. You're going to let him run down to the ocean, take oh. all your line? Oh my god. <laughs> Alright man, that was cool at least, you know, like Yeah, he ran you. I knew that that was gonna be tough. That was a big fish. First cast. Too. I I First told I told you to put the beads and I told you I told oh. you right where to put them too. <laughs> and then literally just Oh, oh that was gone that was Alright, well that's that's He's exciting. Got two beads stuck in him now. Well, well they'll come out, man. Yeah. Holy that was so cool, man. The mouth is probably just a 20 pounder. That's so depressing. Sorry, man. Well, we're gonna get him tomorrow, man. I couldn't believe that first cast right here. Sure All right, we're heading back down. Um, we're gonna get one last shot at it. We got about 10 minutes of daylight left. That was a huge. We think it's a Chinook. I don't know. It could have been a chum, but Kyle thinks it's a Chinook. Um, I'm gonna film him. Maybe we get some redemption. All right, we'll see you in a minute. That's all and that was the last time Kyle had his spin finger. <laughs> It does seem dry. It is definitely drier than that other shit we had last night. But this is like, look at it. This is like yeah, it's it's, it's like termite wood. Total, tar it's all fucking uh, punky. 
punky wood. Okay. It should burn extra fast. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, you don't think about it when you're catching fish. Yeah, I never have any, any thoughts other than big fish. <laughs> Alright, let's season that bitch. Oh yeah. So tell me about where you caught this fish. Uh, so this was on uh, No Tellum River. No Tellum? <laughs> yeah, on, the No Tellum. Uh, the No Tellum River, yeah. And uh, this is from the end of September when we first got the good rainfall and I had a pretty good day out there. This was one of the bigger ones of that day. How big was it? Um, I can't remember exactly. We didn't... Like 12, 15 pounder? It was smaller than that. Smaller it was, than that? It was probably like, probably like 8 to 10. Yeah. What'd you catch it on? This one I think was caught on eggs. You caught it on eggs? Yeah. I'm pretty nice. sure this one was caught on some Ammerman's eggs. If I remember correctly. What else did you catch that day? Uh, I caught a couple coho. I caught like two small coho jacks, but I let them go. Nice. They were just kind of like trout size. Yeah. But And then I caught a couple more Chinooks, and I took a couple jacks home. And Nice. Yeah. Yeah. So I just brought the bigger, fattier one to bring with us camping. And thank you for that, man. It's going to be delicious, right? Hell yeah. Yeah. The I'm one gonna, we had last night I'm, was. Yeah, it was good. We're going to we're gonna, we're gonna have a, a better one tonight, I think. All right, we got the oyster mushrooms in. We're gonna have to stir them with the with the hatchet, I guess, because I forgot the spatula. My hatchula. <laughs> so we just got some butter in there and some oyster mushrooms. This is why you always bring a cast iron pan if you're using a hatchula as a spatula. <laughs> We're gonna season those babies up. Yeah, this is not recommended with Teflon pan. Not Teflon, no. All right, we're going to use the same fish seasoning because we forgot the seasoning, too. We're on a roll. Oysters smell so good. We're going to cook some mac and cheese. And then some slamming salmon on the cedar plank. Didn't that look awesome? It's got a really nice color to it. It was delicious last night. If you live in Oregon... You know that there's not very many places where you can actually catch chum salmon. Um, it's all catch and release here, which is fine because not a lot of people like to eat chum salmon. I'd probably try it, but they're not uh, they're not very common here. Unless you're on this river that we're not going to tell you the name of. But What'd you call it? The No Tellum River. The No Tellum. Oh, yeah. We're on the No Tellum. All right. So here's our... Uh, our salmon camp caper and lemon salmon going on the cedar plank. We're going to put it on that fire here in a minute. We've got some mac and cheese we're going to hook up. I don't know. I couldn't resist. Wisconsin 5G cheese blend. Bronze cut, whatever that means. But, yeah, it's going to be a good dinner. And I got the oyster mushrooms in here. Um, they're all done. Nice and crispy oyster mushrooms that I caught. Or I caught. I got off of a log. Uh, right next to where Kyle lost that giant salmon. So, gonna be a good dinner. Look at that fat content on that. That's, that's gonna be good. And it's, it's smoking and cooking at the same time. This is the money shot right here. Oh, the money shot? The money shot. Oh, look at that fat dripping out of there. Oh man, that's dope. Alright, it's time. A little cooler. We're gonna pull it. Don't burn your finger. If you burn your finger, you can't let it go. You gotta bring it all the way over. All right. Oh, are you burning? <laughs> no, no, I just uh, look at that. Look at the fat dripping off of that. We're gonna reheat the mac and cheese because I timed it poorly. But yeah, man, that looks great. Let's let that rest for like maybe five minutes, and then let's get let's get digging in. All right, so here we go. Uh, this is gonna be. You want that much, Kyle? Um, you like well, that much? Do you want to do like? Oh, you three wanted the, you wanted the middle, right? Yeah. Do you want? All right, you want the middle? Pieces. Okay. So let's do. That's a big piece. Yeah. Two bowls for you. Oh, it's stuck. To that. Oh man, that looks so good. So there's the salmon. 
Let's get you uh, some of the oyster mushroom mac and cheese. Oyster mac. Chunky corner piece. Corn piece is always the best piece. What do you think? Oh, yeah. Oh, it, dude. That's it's dope. Good. That's definitely better than last night. Better than last night? Yeah, for sure. All right, let's let's mm. go for let's go for the um, the oyster mushroom mac and cheese. Mm. Okay. Mm. Gotta get the mushroom. Ooh, I'm doing there. a bad job with lighting here. Here we go. Okay. Oh yeah, that's great with the mushroom. Yeah, I yeah. thought the mushrooms were good. Mm -hmm. I I had one. I let them get a little crispy. I thought that was yeah. a good touch. Yeah. Well, they they. Came out like a little juicier because they got like that cheese, yeah, on them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, great. it was. Uh, I, I I just actually almost ignored them on accident on the <laughs> stuff, and they got they got super crispy, and I was like, oh, this might be good because it's good texture. Mm. That salmon's good. Oh yeah. That oh hell yeah, good. man! Thanks for providing the salmon. No problem. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for cooking it. Yeah, man. All right, so uh, it's time to check our uh, salmon. So we're gonna try. The oyster mushroom mac and cheese, and we can see how that is. Dude, that is amazing. Whew. That is so good. The mushrooms are extra crispy. Uh, I put them on the grill, and I forgot about them, and they got extra crispy. And man, the texture is amazing. Mmm. All right, and then now for. Kyle Chinook salmon. And I got the headpiece, which I always like the headpieces because I like mine a little bit more uh, medium rare salmon wise. Uh, so let's check it out. It's perfect. That cedar plank salmon. I mean, the amount of fat that was in that fish was just like a spring Chinook. That was like, yeah, something I wouldn't expect from a fall Chinook. That was amazing fish. Tomorrow's gonna be a great day. We're gonna go uh, get those chum salmon and we're gonna release them all because uh, you can't keep them in Oregon. Not that we would probably want to, but man, it's gonna be a fun, fun day tomorrow. All right, we'll catch you guys then. All right, so we are down at the spot. It's really early. Um, it's gonna be not gonna be light for like another hour. Uh, there's already a bunch of people here. So, not my like ultimate fishing, but you know, there's not too many places to catch these fish in my state of Oregon. So, we got to kind of crowd in a little bit um, if we're going to catch them. But anyway, uh, yeah, we'll see when we get down there and the sun gets up when we can see anything. All right, Kyle's hooked up. Did you look at it yet? No. Ooh, there he goes. <laughs> oh, coming down. Hot fish. Do you want to net it or do you want me to? Oh, you can get it, yeah. I was going to try to film him first. We have a couple YouTube channels. Nice. Oh, he's way down there still. Yeah, man. He's making coming back now. I think it's starting to heat up a little bit. We both caught a fish already. Just caught a coho. Dime bright too. Oh, 
Oh, is he, is he still hooked? No. Nice one. Found the caught a fish. <laughs> See you later, fish. Thanks, Kyle. All right, Kyle's hooked up again. I'm gonna get down around. You got one? Yeah. yeah. I'll get down there in a second. Yeah, it might be a nook. So that was a trip, like an absolute trip. So I had a blast. We ate some amazing food. And I guess one of the main things was that I wanted to touch on was it doesn't really matter like if we caught a ton of fish. I mean, it was just about like the experience and the adventure of everything. And to me, like adventure is like really huge. So let me take you through the last day. So there wasn't a lot of footage because it was just pouring so much. So we got up. Uh, about hour and a half, hour and 45 minutes before the sun came up and we had this spot in mind. And so we roll up there and much to our chagrin, there's a bunch of people already parked there. So we walk down this muddy trail towards the river and we find these like this group of really cool guys and we're like, hey, you guys can fish over there. I mean, this isn't like my, this is so out of my like comfort fishing zones. I'm not like a combat fishing person, A, B, I'm not a, like a spin fishing person necessarily. Although I've been kind of getting back into it because it's really fun. But anyway, so we were sitting like holding this spot down <laughs> so nobody else comes in for like an hour and a half till the sun comes up. And the rain is just like, just this deluge, just pouring and pouring. And I made this one fundamental, <laughs> fundamental mistake that I will never ever do again. Um, I had put my uh, my raincoat on and then pulled my waders up over my raincoat. Now see, this is why you never do that when it's pouring like that, because all the rain just pours off of you into your waders, <laughs> which it did in mine. And I didn't really notice it for a while because it was so cold and every just everything just felt damp and cold. And then I started feeling like, you know, like my thighs getting wet. I'm like, how could, I'm not even waiting. Like, how could my thighs be wet? And I'm like, oh no. So I had to like redo everything, but at that time it was too late. And then I realized there was a giant hole in the armpit of my brain jacket. And it was just a mess, but anyways. So these guys, they were really cool. Super cool guys, super nice guys. And they were trying to help us catch fish because we were just like, I mean, Kyle knows what he's doing. I don't, with, with the spinner rod, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, but they were just like super nice and helpful. And like we gave, they didn't have a net, so like we, you know, let them use our net. And like, it was kind of this cool trade off. And they were just being like, hey man, like try this, do this, do that. But anyway, they were putting on a, a clinic, just an absolute clinic. Like they were catching like four salmon for every, each of them. There's like three guys, they at least like 12 salmon an hour. And like, it was just embarrassing how bad we were doing. Like we didn't deserve that like primo spot that we had, you know, and then, yeah. But they were awesome dudes and it was super fun. So I thought I'd make something different. 
I normally don't do spinning rod trips, but I, I thought this was kind of interesting and kind of fun, and I had a really, like a really good time. So I feel like there's like this disconnect with uh, the spin, you know, or the gear community and the and the fly fishing community. So I thought, you know, like you know, I, I don't have like any beef with anybody. I, I, I grew up spin fishing, and I still spin fish. So, but I, I mean, obviously I like fly fishing much better. But anyways, I don't comment. You know, if you guys have something to say about it, you know, if you have, like, you know, spin fishing is unethical. But I think there's assholes on both sides of the aisle when it comes to this topic. And I don't get where the hate comes from. But anyways, I love all of you. And uh, I can't wait to see you on the river, man. That was such a fun time. I mean, come on. You can't tell me that wasn't fun. And all those meals, those are so good. But yeah, 